So the Los Angeles Lakers will not be having Avery Bradley for the remainder of the season, and they have been closely linked to potentially signing J.R. Smith with the open roster spot. There are a lot of different views on the Lakers potentially signing Smith, but if he does in fact pan out, I think he could definitely become a secret weapon off the bench along with Deion Waiters, who is actually someone many fans have forgotten the Lakers have already signed. This is because Waiters didn't even play a single game yet for the Lakers as the season got postponed almost right after he got signed, but I think he and Smith can be huge off the bench for LA. So let's go over their potential impact and why I think they can be huge factors for the Lakers in the playoffs. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I really do appreciate all your guys' support and it really does go a long way into helping the channel grow. So first off, this all relies on if J.R. Smith can still maintain his level of play from a few years ago. He still has not played in a single NBA game in almost two seasons, and there's a good chance that he may not be the same player he once was. But if he can still play to a similar level that he did a few years ago and Waiters can get back to his 2016-17 season form, the Lakers are going to have some huge weapons off the bench. Obviously, JR can get hot in a hurry as we saw with the Cavs, and he's had a couple of huge games in the playoffs for Cleveland a few years ago. He's definitely a streaky shooter, but he can quickly put up a few threes in a row that can push the game into LA's favor in these scenarios. The same does go for Waiters, as he's super streaky as well, but can also create his own shot for himself and for others better compared to Smith. But I think the key is that when these two are on the floor at the same time, it gives opposing teams two huge offensive threats that they need to keep in check. If opposing teams lets one of them get on a roll, the game can quickly get out of hand. This also gives the Lakers two options to get hot along with Kuzma off the bench, and it's definitely going to be very hard for opposing team second units to make sure all these players are kept in check. So overall, I think it actually wouldn't be a bad move for the Lakers to sign Smith. I would personally prefer Shumpert or Green if he's fully recovered, but Smith can provide the Lakers with a guy who can get on a hot streak, and he already has good chemistry with LeBron. Him and Waiters would give LA somewhat of a boom or bust duo off the bench, and they can really have a huge impact on many games both either positively or negatively. And say if these two aren't playing well in a game, the Lakers do have other options they can go to and can easily quickly take Smith or Waiters out if they're making boneheaded plays. It's a low risk, high reward move for the Lakers to sign J.R. Smith, and it's definitely a move they should consider. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, as I really do appreciate all your guys support and really does go a long way into helping the channel grow. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business, just drop a comment down below on my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try it back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below on your thoughts on the Lakers potentially signing Smith. Do you think he would make a great duo off the bench along with Waiters? Let me know. As I do all comments, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So with all that being said, once again, thank you guys all for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.